This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. This episode is brought to you by Dr. Lourdes Capulong. Okay, so now yung acting from Bitrolls, o una, crooner sa isa eksena, tapos naging barkada. Naging, uh, naging, naging support. Support, naging support. May mga lines na, <laughs> tapos yung nga, yung pair-pair, ayun na, nag-umpisa yung mga love team, love team. I mean, there was a, there was a program in radio noon eh. Radio yun, ah, ano. Pero live radio, may audience yung pag-Sunday, so, um, can't remember exactly. Na alimbawa lang basta alimbawa eight guys, eight girls ganun. So may drama pag Sunday. <laughs> I-prepare kami ano susubukan nila pa para kami mga chess pieces tinitigan nila kung may chemistry. Kung may chemistry it will work out ganun. Ayun, doon ko umpisa yung ganun. Ah, pwede to. Si ito hindi masyado. Si ganito ganyan ganyan. And then it got to the point si Miss Nora Honor, Honor repair sa akin. Yeah. Ba, merong ano may chemistry, may ano Uh, they, they, they got us. Eh, kasi noon, si Nora naman was, she graduated, di ba? Ano yan eh, um, undefeated champion ng tawag yes. ng tanghalan yan eh. Yes. She retired because wala talaga wala tumatalo talaga, sa kanya. Galing na, pa rin talaga. Ang galing talaga. Tapos yun, I think, I think kinuha siya ng Sampagitay. She was contracted by Sampagitay at something. Tapos ako, yun kasi ako nga yung lagi na i-prepare. So, oh, yun, isang gamitin natin, like mga pelikula ni, my cousin, who was ahead of me, Uh, who basically started uh, the Cruz family into the Rico, business Rico of Belmonte. movies, si Ricky Belmonte. Yes. So during those times, sa ano naman noon, ang love team mo, triangle sila, si Ricky, Pepito Rodriguez, and si um, Rosemary. Rosemary Sonora. Uh, yeah. yes. Tapos support kami. Ayun uh, sila, <laughs> tapos kami yung, kami yung dalawang. Pero was it known na magpinsan kayo? Yeah, it was known, it was known na magpinsan kami. Yun, so ano kami, dalawang uhugin na bata. Tapos <laughs> sila, sila yung mga bida kami, mga support-support lang. Ganon pa rin ang trabaho namin. Yung bang from out of nowhere, biglang magkikita kami, kakanta. Diba? Tapos na, ah, ganon. Tapos na, tapos na, wala na. But we were starting to, be, I, we didn't know, we were starting to develop our own fal- fal- following, following na pala. Yes. Oh, lumalakas na, ganon. When did you realize that yung guy pip tandem was a phenomenon? Um... I think it started with a movie by, it was directed by, I think, Artemio Marquez. Artemio Marquez was the first guy who decided to give us our first leading, talaga. Yung kami yung bida. That, dati, puro support, support, support. Kinuha, kin- kinuha niya kami. Uh, the title of the movie was Musical Teenage Idols. First time coming gumawa ng movie. And it was, for the love of me, we didn't know, we didn't understand. It was a big hit. Yeah. It, it really made really mang oy there's ano there's a new uh, there's a new love team in town parang ganon ano ayun na nagumpisa na yon doon so we started uh, calling the attention of other people other producers ganyan so ayun na pati mga recording companies were coming in do it do it now oh saka magkaiba pa kami no ano ako uh Vicor recording ako yes. si Si Guy Alpha, eh, kay Buddy mm. Dibera. Ako, okay. Vicor, Vic and Orly. Vic and Orly, kaya yeah. Vicor. Yeah. Yan, doon. Yun, doon mm. nag-umpisa yan. Ganun. And, but, magkaiba kami ng company. Pero, yung nga, yung, kami, sabi nga namin, kami, kami ang original, kami ang original MTV. Uh, kasi, yes, of course. Uh, anim na kanta ko, anim na kanta ni Guy. Tapos, may duet, may isang production number sa ending. Pelikula na yun. Boy meets girl, falls in love, <laughs> mag-aaway, magbabate. Production number. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> successful movie. Uh, that was ano, uh, that was the formula. Na. And we were, we really did good. I mean, for for years on, uh, talagang phenomenal talaga. Tsaka noon, uh, during those times, ano, you must remember, during those times, limited pa ang theaters ng Filipino yeah. movies. Yes. I think there were only about five or six theaters that were showing Filipino movies. Hindi pa kami noon yung lahat ng theaters linalabas na yung na ipaglaban noon na uh, the our president na uh, si Joseph Estrada was the one who fought for that na yep. we're in the country well country natin to hindi tayo maging ano maglead sa ano so dapat sa lahat ng theaters so pero noon ganun kami ano, ano 
Nakakatawa nun, ano, nagkasunod sunod na yung movie. Galing yun. No. Movie namin, ang trailer, movie pa rin namin. <laughs> so, sunod so, 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 Puro Artemio Marquez. Uh, most, mostly uh, Artemio Marquez until eh, diba after si, a while. Si, si, si Direk Artemio Marquez, mabilis gumawa ng Ay, mabilis, so, 14 days, tapos na yung pelikula uh, uh, niya. Uh, Pagka lumagpas ka 14 days, masama na loob nun. <laughs> No, no, but although he was a very good very friend, good, and, he was, yeah. and we owed a lot to him because he was the first guy who really took a risk on right. us. Uh, Trivia, he's the father uh, of Joey Marquez. Yes, yeah. and Melanie. And Melanie Marquez. Yeah, beauty queen natin, yan. Grabe, ano? So now, naging, uh, naging magandang uh, institution ng Guy Pip Tandem. Internally, what was going on? Was it stressful on both of you? Diba kasi, you had to put up a front, eh. Alam mo yun, yung tipong... Yeah. How hard was it for a Tirso Cruz the Third, who started off as as um, someone who loved singing, na na itulak lang sa TV, <laughs> ginawang ginawang uh, bit part, bit role person to support to be that. Kaya may kalav team. And this was fast. This was in a span of what three years? Yeah, uh, all, almost, almost almost three years lang ni ganon. And, and how know. old were you? Oh, I was about 17, 18. And you were making days. real money at around 17. Yeah. And what was the feeling? Um, at first, I mean, it was something that we were enjoying because, you know, from a nobody, suddenly you're a somebody. Everybody's running after you. Yeah. Everybody wants your picture. Everybody wants your autograph. So it was fun at the start. I mean, not that I'm at denying start, it, but at yeah. the start it was fun. But after a while, you start realizing that you're losing your privacy, your... You're you're walking on eggshells, and you have to be careful. Na ano. So after a while, parang ay ang hirap din ito buhay na ganito, hindi ba? Yung, you can't not not that we didn't want it, but like sometimes you'd like to buy something. Hindi ka makapunta sa sa mall or sa uh, what they call this. Yung mga shops nung araw. Mm, yeah. Kasi pag pumunta ka sa shop, pinundo mo yung shop na sumusunod yes. yung mga tao, yung mga pag nakita ka sa loob ng lugar, magpapasok ka na, maghihingi na ng autograph. So, hindi ka na makakapamili, hindi ka na makakita. Hindi mo rin pwede supladahin. Hindi mo. pwede, oh, mm-hmm. because they're followers talaga. And those people are, you know, they're, they're the ones who really make you. Sila yung mga na unang loyalists. Le- yan, yan talaga. Yung mga fans talaga. Yes. Mga, ano, mga diehard, sabi yes. nga nila. Yes. Diehard fans. And, we owe a lot to them. Talagang we owe a lot to the fans. Because without them, I mean, sino ba kami? Grabe, Tito Pip, 17. You were making real money. Who was your manager? It wasn't Douglas. No, my uh, it was my father was basically okay. who stood as my manager. Um, siya yung nakikipag-usap, siya yung nakikipag-deal. Tsaka ako talagang, I, I don't know, I was just... Truth of the matter, most probably, I was too young to understand what was going on or... I wasn't looking at it from the professional side mm. of things or like, you know, I was just having fun. I mean, like, you know, parang, wow, asa, asa ang buhay ko? <laughs> <laughs> parang ganun, asa yan ang buhay ko? Ah? Ganun, man, like, you know, dami, dami kong kilala, ang dami ko sa makapagkilala sa akin. Dami ko, kapag lamakad ka, nakasunod lahat sa'yo, binubuntot ng kanang tao, hindi ba? So, sobrang, ano talaga, sobrang, Sometimes when you think about it, yung, if you're not careful, the success will eat you. Yun na nga, I was gonna ask uh, you eh. Buti hindi pumasa, umakit ba sa, sa ulo mo? No, there was, maybe there were times when, you know, I was thinking, iba kami ah. Pero it never really, ano, I mean, I, I thank the Lord na hindi ako naapektohan nung, to the point fame, na yeah. naging mayabang ako yeah. talaga na, nag, I never claimed that I was top dog. Or anything like that. Even but if you uh, were at the time, yeah, I know. Ano lang, talagang, well, sabi ko lang, ma, ma, mapalad kami siguro. We're, we're, we're lucky and uh, sometimes nagtatanong nga kami, what, because some people interview us, uh, what do you think is the secret of your success? What's the secret of the lab team? And basically, sometimes we tell them, you know, truth of the matter is <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Why, 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 we don't know how we happened or... La, sabi nga naman, ang joke nga sa amin nun, we were an accident looking for a place to happen. <laughs> para kami ganun, no, no. Para bang, siguro, we, we came into the picture at the right time. Parang ganun. Yung bang, in the industry kasi, sabi nga nila, it's like a cycle. Yes. You know, uh, people will fall in love with action. Puro action, puro action. Yes. Yan. Then after a while, Perfect they get timing, sick and tired. No? Rom-com Mag- kayo. Rom-com, eh. mag, ano, or whatever. When we came around, I think, that was one of the big, chances and breaks 
of uh, you know what what they call the breaks of life that the industry was looking for a change and they really I think they really couldn't care kung ano man yung change they were just looking for a change and yung nga, kanya ang tawag nga sa amin, may dumating na dalawang uhugin <laughs> and they were able to do it they were they were the they were the change they started the So kayo yung nagsimula group. ng love team love team love team tsaka yung mga bata the, the young bloods biglang pumasak puro puro mga bata kami pati yung support namin yung mga so, dati namin kayo ang unang Dutch Entertainment oh yes oo kami kami ang unang Dutch Entertainment kami ang unang Regal Babies uh, kami yung mga ang, kami ang unang MTV nga yeah, sabi kasi uh-huh. eh, linagyan lang ng konting kwento eh. pero uh, MTV lang kami kantahan lang kami ng kantahan eh <laughs> 